menage a trois. There were two important companions in the life of Alexander the Great, Roxanne, his wife and queen, and Hephaestion, his lifelong friend and general. Hephaestion and Roxanne's relationship with Alexander was complex and multifaceted. Both Hephaestion and Roxanne's love for Alexander often put them at odds with each other, as they both wanted to be the one closest to him. Hephaestion was Alexander's closest friend and confidant, and the two had a deep bond that was often described as being more like that of lovers than friends. On the other hand, Roxanne, as Alexander's wife, felt that she should be the most important person in his life, while Hephaestion's close relationship with Alexander made Roxanne feel jealous and insecure. In addition, Alexander's constant military campaigns and conquests meant that he was often away from home, which added to the tension between Hephaestion and Roxanne. One day, Roxanne stormed into Hephaestion's chamber, with her face full of anger and jealousy. Hephaestion, I know about your feelings for my husband. You have always loved him. But you have no right to steal his love and affection from me. Hephaestion's heart sank as he realized that Roxanne had finally discovered his true feelings for Alexander. Roxanne, I'm sorry. I never meant to hurt you. But my love for Alexander is something that I cannot control. It is a part of who I am. Alexander and I have a special bond, but it doesn't change the way he feels about you. He loves you too. But that's not enough for me, Hephaestion, Roxanne said, her voice shaking with anger. I can't share Alexander with you, and I won't stand for it any longer. Your love is causing harm to our matrimony. You need to let go of Alexander and move on. But I can't change the way I feel. Alexander is a part of me, Hep Ashton said. His voice was gentle but firm. Roxanne's eyes filled with tears as she realized that Hef Ashton was not going to back down. Roxanne stared at him for a moment longer, then turned and stormed out of the room, leaving Hef Ashton alone with his thoughts and feelings. He knew that this was not going to end well, but he also knew that he would not give up his love for Alexander, not for anything in the world.